I'm going back to Twitch. This feels a little weird, but I'm back to streaming on Twitch. It's been a couple of years since I dropped this video where I blew up a damn car, which is how I announced that I was leaving Twitch to start streaming on YouTube, which was a big deal for, for me and, and I guess nerds who care about live streaming because I, I had done some cool things on Twitch. I was the most subscribed to live streamer at one point and I had left for a relatively- He got caught, like he was pretty big. I mean, like he literally got New York Times coverage over the subathon. He was the guy who like, popularize it unproven platform youtube and i explained why in one of my first mogul mails ever a video that kind of started this whole channel uh and it basically got clipped into a bunch of dramatic youtube shorts i had flipped a coin and heads was twitch tails was youtube and it had gone with heads I and the skinny of it is that i felt more appreciated by youtube than i did by twitch they made me feel like a person they made me feel seen it felt like our goals were aligned in twitch it felt like i was another cog in the machine uh, and it didn't hurt that YouTube was also offering me more money. <laughs> but now the two years is up, and I'm going back to Twitch. Part-time. He right, said let me skinny, explain, let me skinny explain, okay? not skitty. When I went back to YouTube to do the re-signing, I realized that my goals are not to make the most money possible. My goals are not to get the highest average viewership possible. My goal, simply put, is to do really cool events that I think are cool and, and also dope, and also have them be seen by the most amount of people the biggest cultural event possible. If I want to pour my heart in, in, into something, I want it to, to be seen by others. I don't even care if it makes money. Don't tell the people that offer in that, but it's true. And I'm capping myself if I'm only streaming these events on YouTube or if I'm only streaming them on Twitch. It'd be a lot better if I streamed them on both. And so that was my proposal to YouTube. Now for daily streams, if I want to play Suica Game or Lethal Company or Top Frag and Valorant like I usually do, that will still happen on YouTube. But I am trying to do way more events. How often will these happen? Well, the goal is every couple of months. There's specifics in the contract on what an event is and what I am allowed to co-stream on both Twitch and YouTube, but but the skinny is- at Oh, so he's basically still YouTube exclusive. It's just that if he runs an event, it can be Twitch as well. At least every two months, I'm hoping to uh, do an event that'll be co-streamed. Oh, okay. Right? I'm not even totally uh, signed up for the idea that co-streaming daily streams is good, at least for me in the position I'm in. So I'm not really interested in- I, I, I actually agree. I don't think I don't think co-screen or like dual streaming. Like people ask me like, oh, why don't you multi-stream to YouTube? I don't think it really makes sense unless your YouTube channel is already really big and you're doing the same content that your YouTube has. Like I just don't think it makes a lot of sense doing that yet. So YouTube. Why green screen a messy room? Is YouTube he on a green screen? I don't think he is. YouTube live streams events will be on both, and you might have noticed that it won't be on twitch.tv slash Ludwig, right? That was another stipulation of the contract. It had to be a channel name that didn't make people think I was a full-time Twitch streamer. I didn't tell them I would clickbait this video, but that's why the channel name will be Mogul Moves. And you might be wondering, when is my first Twitch slash YouTube stream? And it's this week. It's actually this Sunday, December 10th, around noon. I'm going to be streaming the Creator Dodgeball World Championship, which I'm really fucking excited about. It features six teams. Each team's a different platform, and we're going to find the best platform. At least the best platform. What about platform? YouTube Kick, Twitch, Facebook Gaming, Rumble. Uh, I feel like, I, I, like, what platforms? If you invite Rumble people, you're gonna get slurs. You're gonna get, like, literally kicked off. So it'll be Team Kick with a bunch of Kick streamers, Team Twitch, Team YouTube, Team Facebook, Team Podcasts, and finally, the sixth team is Team Chess Boxing, because this also coincides with a chess boxing merch drop. Now, it's not happening this year. I, I, I we already cool. gone through that. I already made a video about that. But we still have a bunch of really cool merch that I'm very proud of uh, that, that I need to sell. So, so we don't um, fire Aiden. Team anyway, Podcasts is, is wild. Like. I think it's some of our best stuff. This is a reversible jacket. Wow, cool. Shill That's actually really fucking cool. sick. Love Holy. It. If you want to get it, it's available right now. You can get it by Christmas. Anyway, that'll be the first day I stream. Now, you might be wondering, has YouTube worked? All right. After this year, are you going to stay with YouTube again? Are you always going to be the YouTube guy? Will you ever go back to Twitch full time? And I looked at the data a little bit because YouTube has finally added live stream data. And I have some answers for you. Now, first off, this is my concurrent viewership and my peak viewership over the two years that I've been on YouTube. And you can see my average viewership is just under 17,000. My peak viewership, however, hit 300,000. Uh, I think it was technically like three. 20 something but but they a few numbers got lost in the tabulations but but still that is the highest peak viewership i've ever had in my streaming career ever and i think this That's next year we can crush it multi-streaming on both and adding them together the average viewership is a little worse i'll come clean 
My last month on Twitch, I averaged 18,500. I think my last year I on Twitch, I averaged over 20,000. So, so we're doing in the thousands worse. But I don't really care about that because it's not my goal. My goal isn't to be a average high viewership live stream. I realize that my shelf life is coming up. There'll only be such a, a small period of time where I'm able to relate to people who care Don't about Don't worry, you're still my favorite micro place. streamer. And then someone Maybe I can devolve into like being a nano streamer. Who's able to relate right more will come along and beat me out. <laughs> so I'm not going to play this game. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of happening already. Like there's been the shift to this like WL community stuff, right? With like Aiden Ross, uh, uh, Kai Sanat, Bruce, like there's this new like segment of live streaming that's kind of becoming the new mainstream popular and thing. Cling on to life. I just want to do dope shit while I can do dope shit while people care about the dope shit that I do. A uh, couple things though have gone better. All right. The peak viewership was one of them. But another thing that has done a lot better since moving over to YouTube is the views for videos. Uh, the video view average. Skyward. Oh, you can tell. Wow. Rocketed. I think it, I was averaging around half a mil per video before, and now it, it, it is right around a million views per video. Uh, and you can see the weekly video views gained here. Don't, don't you know, take it with a grain of salt. This also includes YouTube shorts. Um, but, but I, you know, oh, I, I tried to do it all. Oh, that's why it also includes YouTube I tried YouTube to do it all. Okay. Uh, my goal when I went to YouTube was to try as hard as I could to be a multifaceted creator who could do live streams, who could do YouTube shorts, and who could do regular videos and, and, and be the best YouTuber possible. And I'm going to give YouTube another year, but I will also add a caveat here. I'm a little bit concerned about YouTube, all right? YouTube guy here, I have to admit, there are some problems. And those problems in the two years that I've been here haven't been addressed at the speed that I or other live streamers. Biggest would. thing, fucking YouTube desktop experience for live streams is ass. So fucking ass. They have their own, he made his own fucking plugin to make the YouTube experience more like Twitch because of how fucking ass YouTube is uh, uh, as a viewer. It's great on mobile, actually. It's actually like pretty good on mobile, but you're still missing things like channel point bets or like, for example, gifted subs. If you want to get gifted a sub in a channel, you have to opt in to a channel to receive a gifted sub. That makes zero fucking sense. Why do I, if I want a gifted sub, I need to find the setting for every individual channel that I'm watching and enable, allow me to get a gifted sub? What? Who's, like, in, think about it in real life. In real life, do you, uh, do you have to, do, do you ask somebody permission before giving them a gift? No. Like, that, that, makes, that makes no sense. Would like. I made this list a while back, but it includes just a few of the problems that exist for live streaming on YouTube that don't necessarily exist on Twitch. One of the Allow users to edit VODs over six hours. Allow streams longer than 12 hours. Mod tools are limited. True. Allow preview thumbnails. That's good. Add an offline chat. That is so... Oh, I agree, honestly. Actually, mm, I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal for most. I think it's only a, an issue for like big streamers because big streamers have offline chats. But I think for people like us, uh, the working class individuals, like that's basically what Discord is. Discord's basically the offline chat. Better theater mode for desktop mobile TV. True. Chat flows like a geriatric man's piss. What is geriatric? Um... But I, 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 I get what they mean, like, for big chats, like, they all flow in individually rather than, like, in batches, like Twitch does it. Stop the following top chat, they do that for spam, I actually think that's based. Not enough incentive for sub memberships, that's true. Um, because, like, uh, if you get a sub, if you subscribe on Twitch, you don't get ads. If you become a member on YouTube, you still get ads. Notifications for only live streams, that's true, you can only get, you can only get notifications for some videos, all videos, or nothing. You can't do only live streams. No place to view clips, that is true. Emote only mode, that's also true, but I also don't think they have emotes. Like, they have, like, five. Out ability to reply to comments in chat. Twitch added that recently, and I used to hate it, but I think it's kind of grown on me. Glaring ones, you can't even stream longer than 12 hours. If you do, the VOD disappears into the ether. I can't even watch my VODs longer than 12 hours. I have Wait, that's to really weird. What the fuck? So if you forget to end the VOD, the VOD auto-deletes itself? End the stream, otherwise it is gone. That is a problem. You can't That's edit so VODs dumb. that are over six hours. So if you listen to one copywritten thing and the whole VOD gets smoked, you're screwed. That, you can't do anything about it. These, these, again, are huge, huge issues.
And when I first went over to YouTube a couple years ago, I made the company Truffle with the goal of combating these things, of making not just YouTube live streaming, but all live streaming a better experience. And it has worked. Truffle has been great. But I see a clear split, a clear divide. And I'm hoping this next year that what I fear will happen doesn't happen because I want to keep streaming on YouTube until I eventually retire. But my concern is that YouTube doesn't care about live streaming. They care about something else that you'll probably see on the home screen if you open up YouTube right now. YouTube Shorts. Now, you get a, the occasional recommended live stream or maybe it's in your subscriptions box, but for the most part, you'll get videos and if you're on your mobile especially, you'll get a shit ton of shorts. That's true. And I think the reason is because YouTube is threatened by TikTok. Like the existence of YouTube is threatened by TikTok. If you look at this, the amount of, of uh, users on TikTok versus YouTube in the US, this was last year, uh, TikTok is gaining rapidly, specifically with younger audiences. And those will be the older audience when time passes, as it always does. And so this has a real chance of killing YouTube as a whole. You know, and that that's something they're I don't, I think that's kind of doomer because the problem is TikTok is only good for short form content. Um, TikTok's been trying to push people to make longer videos on the platform, and to my understanding, it's been an absolute fucking failure. What's happened is that people just rip YouTube videos, and they just post them on TikTok, but people aren't creating original, long-form content for TikTok. It's all still short-form shit. 90% of the things you're going to see on TikTok is under 60 seconds. Um, turned about. What is so it I, a concern of theirs I don't think it's happening, is but... the title Twitch has killed YouTube, because that'll never happen. I don't think Twitch is entering the VOD space. I don't think they're trying to compete there. I think they're just chilling in the live stream space, <laughs> offering their own unique slice of, of uh, content creation online. Yeah, I, I, I'm inclined to agree. I think Twitch is like, Twitch is basically accepted that they will never be YouTube or TikTok. They're just going to be the one, they're just going to be really good at Twitch, if that makes sense. Like they're just going to be really good at live streaming, but they're not going to try anything else. And as long as they stay in their moat, like they will, you know, not die. And so they have almost this like handshake agreement. Where the only thing Twitch is taking over is, is the cam the, one. Uh, True. The massive. Um, well, not even that... now because Twitch Korea shut down. Twitch Korea is going to be shutting down. How am I going to watch all my like triple monitor like uh, pool girls? They, they have the, the majority. Uh, They're not even really good. The Twitch, if you've tried to watch a YouTube live stream or a kick live stream, or a rumble live stream, it sucks compared to Twitch. It's like, people will say, ah, oh, Twitch isn't even that good at it. Compared to every other competitor, it's not even close. Compared to every other platform you can watch a live stream on, it is not even close. Chip for all live streaming, and YouTube has been floating around, just doing their thing. They haven't gone up too much, they haven't <laughs> gone down too much. Uh, Facebook's on the down and down, kicks nowhere to be seen. And there's no real need to rush into into Kili Kojima a announced a new game. Twitch, yeah, but it didn't explain anything, Twitch. so who cares? Because Twitch will never kill YouTube. TikTok will. So let's combat that. And then maybe if that works out, we can check out the live streaming spot, maybe. That's how it feels. That's at least what I think based off some conversation with people who are at YouTube. And because of that, I YouTube scrub feature is I don't know what scrub feature is. Oh, you mean like uh what do they call it? DVR? direct video rewind like you can you can rewind a, a stream while you're watching it yeah i don't that's the only thing that other platforms have that twitch does actually i don't really see other plot it's only youtube and rumble that has that kick doesn't have that twitch doesn't have that um youtube and rumble have that but the beyond that the actual live experience is so shit on every other platform compared to twitch that i don't think twitch has to worry about getting taken over anytime soon time that i have as a live streamer where i have things that people want to hear i want to talk about they won't be the platform that people should be on i'm still the youtube guy i'm still waving my red youtube banner but these are my concerns those are my hopes and that's why i'm uh, now part streaming on twitch for for events specifically which will happen every couple of months all right anyway that's all thank you for watching i appreciate it but he's uh, still basically a youtube streamer okay uh, not just this video, but the past couple of years and any live streams if you have. December wow, 10th, cool. I will see you on Twitch and YouTube uh, and Ludwig.gg if you want to get the merch. All right, see you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Coots too because she says goodbye as well. All right, goodbye to, to, uh, from both Easy, of us. Bye bye. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I've, I think I've said a million times, I really want to focus more on YouTube now. And I think that's going to be a trend in the future. I know Ms. Kiff's really trying to hammer home on YouTube. I really want to hammer home on it. Um, Monday is my last final. 
and the next two or three weeks, I'm just going to go crazy on YouTube. Like, I want to try and... This sounds so cringe to me, but I want to try working 16-hour days where I do, like, what, like, 10 hours of YouTube work and then the six out five, like, hour live streams every now and then. I feel like, like, I really want to, like, get ahead on that. And this is my chance to try it. Um... But I don't think I'll ever... S I think I could see myself live streaming the Nuzlocks on YouTube, but I don't see myself live streaming variety content on YouTube. I don't think it makes sense. And I think um, I still want to put up non-YouTube... Not, not on YouTube. Non-Pokemon videos on my YouTube channel. The problem is, one, uh, I can't come up with good ideas. Uh, the one idea I did come up with didn't work out well. Um, which was the Street Fighter, but I only have one move, and the video got kind of shit. Like, the video quality was shit, so I can't really use that. Um, it's hard to watch YouTube live streams. It really, really is. I think they're better on mobile, but you're still missing a lot of functionality that Twitch has, you know? It's not a section of the app that's promoted. Yeah, I don't feel like they really care about it. I really just don't think they care about live streaming. It's just not a thing for them anymore. They're really worried about TikTok. And to be fair, they're doing a pretty good job combating TikTok. God forbid there's a day, well, I don't know if God forbid, but, like, if there's a day that TikTok gets shut down from the U.S. or, like, banned, like, YouTube Shorts is going to fucking explode. It's going to be insane, you know? It's already doing insane. Apparently, it's printing a ton of money for Google. Like, if Twitch ever ends up, if I ever end up having to, like, take a break from Twitch, like, I will just, like, probably grind out YouTube instead. I think YouTube's a long game play. I agree. I think YouTube is really good for long game. It's not even about, like, oh, I want to make a big YouTube channel. It's that I want people to come to my Twitch channel through YouTube. 